Hello, I'm live on Facebook. My cat's just come in soaking wet for the third time because he likes he likes me drying him. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so professional. I'm supposed to be doing astrology readings, Momo. I'm not keeping you dry. So hold on. we're on twice. Mo, come out the way. No, no, not keeping you dry. So, oh. We're on twice. No, no. It's better. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, so he does it deliberately. When it's wet out there, this is what he does. He knows I, I, I get him dry and then I give him some treats. It's like, he over here then. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, yes, hello, hello. Um, so I've been a bit quiet and I haven't been able to do classes and things like that. Um, I will be okay for tomorrow, which is Monday, so I'll be able to do Monday's class. Um, yeah, I've just had a cold. Um, when I went round to uh, babysit, um, my grandchildren love them. They have both had, you know, even the uh, one month old, old baby had a cold. So, of course, you know, you can't not be around them, can you? And so I caught it. So um, that along with the migraine ended up because when I get sinuses, I get migraine. So also then had a migraine. So, yeah, um, I haven't been too well. Um, but, you know, it's just a bloody cold and, um, you know, it, it, it just, it makes you feel a bit whiny, doesn't it? So, yeah, so I've been keeping busy, not through, with the migraine, I couldn't do anything, but, to, but just try to sleep. The pain, but I've been making things, I've been making bracelets and um, I've been making lots of feng shui kind of bits and pieces like necklaces and bracelets. Sorry, do you mind my necklaces and bracelets and things as well? So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, I've, I've enjoyed it. Look how wet he is. You're soaking, baby. You want more? <coughs> oh my goodness, my cards are going all over the place. It's like he's starving. Anyway, how is everybody? I don't suppose there's many people up because here in the UK it is 5 a.m. We're 10 to 5 a.m. You see, I'm on um, USA time, how am I say? Yeah, just to confuse everybody. But that's me. Um, let's see if I can get this live up. Not Perhaps there's people in Australia that may be, <coughs> that may be about, they may be. Oh, it's not showing that, that I am live, actually, from what I can see. Let's try once more. Oh, there it is. Yes. Hello, Beverly. Beverly Taylor. Hello. Let's mute that. Mute. So, Sarah, what are you doing up, Sarah? You're in the UK as well. So, that's unusual. You're up at this time. Yeah, so I'm going to have to keep, I'm trying to do the astrology readings because I don't want to let anybody down. Um, you know, I like to do them whenever I can. And um, so I thought I'm just gonna do these little ones. Um, just to just to keep everybody going. Because I know it's a difficult time for everybody. So um, sometimes the astrology readings, they just give you a little bit of a, something to look forward to. Um, you know, let's do that. Yeah, something to look forward to each week, isn't it? So yeah. Okay, so um, 
what else? So what's been going on with, with you, Sarah? What's been going on? Have you been okay? Um, what else has been happening? This has been happening. Yeah, not a lot else really. I've kind of been on, kind of just locked myself away for about three days. Um, I wouldn't even, when me and Greg were talking, um, I wouldn't let him see me because <laughs> I had no makeup on and I looked grey. And um, underneath this makeup, I still look grey. And uh, makeup is a wonderful thing. Um, and as you can hear, I'm still a bit croaky. So, so yeah, he didn't get to see me. I know that when we're living together, he's going to have to see me, um, you know, but all the time I can be vain about it, I will be. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. I mean, he says to me, what do you think I'm going to do? See you without makeup on or see you looking ill and then suddenly fall out of love with you. And I know it's, um, I would never think that. I wouldn't because he's not a shallow man that's for sure so it's just me being me being silly silly alley um okay so the offers that we've got on this week um for for greg he's still got the uh slim fit t-shirts for ladies uh, but they're now down to ten dollars so um, get over to in5d.net to grab yours he's also done a lot of new t-shirts as well um so a lot of and um, like a um it's the new it's the chakra colors but it is um it's their pastel so they really do look lovely so it's not so vibrant but it's it's really classy it's really nice uh, not that the others aren't classy it's just that some people might want it less vibrant so yeah, they're they're they are really really pretty. So so Sarah, I am an early riser and in bed early. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I look lovely. Yeah, it is makeup definitely because I did not look like this two hours ago. <laughs> I really didn't. Um, so I had a quick chat with my wonderful man and then um, I came on here. So what else is going on? So um, update on, on Greg, he's waiting for um, an appointment with the cardiologist because when they were doing the, the test to see that he was well enough for the uh, reversal operation, something flagged up uh, linked with his heart. And um, so they, he's got to go and see a cardiologist to make sure that everything is okay regarding that so that he can then have this operation done and he's itching to have that done so that we can then um start our lives together and, and obviously he just wants to be well and he wants to be able to go for a swim in the sea even though he probably could um but he's knowing he can have a reversal if he thought if if he had to live with the stoma and knew he had to live with the stoma he would he'd have to adapt i'm sure just as most people do who have them um but obviously because he knows that he can have this reversed um, that is on his mind all the time so you know bit you know we're together um, nothing's going to stop me feeling any different about him but um, you know I do get I do get why you know he wants this done for his own for his own sake as well so so yeah, that's the update with, with him. Um, he's also got a Patreon. Um, so if you wanted to become a Patreon for him, you can do that just as, as little as $1.11 a month. That's it, patreon.com in five forward slash in 5D. Okay, I've also started up a Patreon page and it is um, Psychic Alley. Um, so, and my smallest one is $1.11 a month. I'm giving away free gifts, like mystery gifts um, in some of the tiers. Um, um, the videos for classes and workshops um, that, I'm, that I'm doing, the recorded versions of them. Um, you know, the workshops and things. So just in case you couldn't attend, you could see um, how the class went and everything. Um, and obviously, I'm also giving away readings as well within those tiers. So 
um, have a little look and uh, see what you think. And I would really appreciate if you could, um, you know, become a patron of mine and Greg's um, or one or the other. That would be just wonderful. Um, but I understand that, that things are sometimes tight for people and I get that as well. So um, only if you can, that would be wonderful. Um, I want to do more kind of teaching um, free teaching classes and things um, the way I used to on you know, Facebook and um, on YouTube. So that's uh, going to be what, what I'm going to do. So um, what else have we got? Yes, I think that's it really with the catching up. Um, I'm still um, for the next week, just the next week or so, um, um, my readings are still one, um, one hour for the, um, where you get 90 minutes for the price of one hour. Okay, so um, that is still the offer. I've also introduced a quickie. Yep, you can have a quickie with me. Um, reading that is because I'm taking. Um, so yeah, you can have a quickie reading if you want to, that's one question. And um, at the moment that is, um, I can't remember how much I put it at, um, but I think it's $20. So yeah, so just for a quick reading, like a recap um, of what it is that you want to know, you want to know something, um, just quickly, you want a recap of what's going on. Okay, so you can do that. Um, the other thing is I'm starting up um, party, online party bookings. So for $100, um, I don't know what that works out English, I'm not sure, but you can, um, I can do readings for um, five of your friends plus you. Okay, so that's um, five friends plus you for $100 and I will do each person there um, a mini reading. So that will be around 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, reading. So um, if you wanted to book that, just message me because I haven't got that. Um, I haven't got that on the uh, website at the moment. So, um, but I will add that soon. So, but you, you can contact me if you're interested in those online party bookings. Okay, so it's like a chance of you getting your friends together and um, you can then discuss your readings in the other room while one person is having their, their reading. It's a chance to get together. Um, you know, you know, um, and I can do that, you know, from whoever all over the world, can I? So um, there's nothing, nothing stopping us really. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to be doing the astrology readings. So we're going to always try and change it about. So we're going to be doing the um, earth signs. Did they go? Yeah, I'm going to be doing earth signs first, and then air signs, then fire, and then water. OK, so we'll start off with the earth signs. And obviously, because I haven't been well, they will only be little ones, um, I'm afraid. So we go and get a little. Um, there it is. OK, this is what we were doing last time. And it worked out quite well. Um, It's not the right height. Hi Elaine. How are you doing? That's better. Are you okay? So there we go. So we'll start off with Taurus and then we'll do um, Virgo and then Capricorn. Right. Okay. <coughs> Right, so I'm concentrating on Taurus, and this will be from the 10th of May um, up until the 16th of May 2021. How are you, Elaine? Taurus. Taurus. Okay, so starting off in the beginning of um, this next coming week, um, you're going to be kind of trying to set some clear boundaries um, for people.
that you feel um, may have overstepped those boundaries in the recent weeks. Um, I feel that there's somebody around you who's overly confident, um, can be, um, they hide behind their humor, but sometimes they can be quite rude with it or um, overpowering. And um, that, that can be destructive in your, in your life. And it can make you feel sometimes that you, your feelings don't matter to them. Um, and so this is something that you're going to be addressing um, and you're going to be having to kind of um, put some of these boundaries in and say, this is OK, this is not OK. You know, um, I'm not um, amused. <laughs> um, so um, obviously you don't want to stunt this person's personality um, because, you know, they they are who they are. But you've also got to understand that. um it's important for you to feel comfortable too. Okay, so that's what this is. I think that you've been giving this a lot of thought. Um, and this is the this is what you've come up with, okay, as a solution. So moving forward into the middle of the week, um, we've then got somebody from the past going to be re-entering your life. Now, this could be a friend, a family member. Um, somebody you haven't spoken to for a while. Um, and I feel that this communication is going to be very, um, it's very clear, but it's also going to set your emotions off. Um, so you're going to be very, very, um, it's like I once understood how I was feeling about that, um, but now I'm not sure. Okay, so this is going to confuse you a little bit. Um, so Torians, it's like take one step at a time, try not to think too far ahead um, and try not to be too set in your ways, because sometimes we need to, um, we need to acknowledge um, that people sometimes come back into our lives and there is a big reason for it, okay, and it could be karmically, it could be an emotional thing, something that you've got to balance back up. Um, for some of you, this will be a relationship that you're in um, and that you have been um, close and then you've gone your way and they've gone their way. And there has been um, a little bit of um, disharmony between the two of you. And this disharmony is making you feel as though, um, you know, it's like I've, I need to sort this out because we can't carry on like this. So how do I put this? You know, when you have that conversation in your head where you're like, okay, so if I do this and they say that this happens, then I'm gonna do this. So it's, it's like you're doing that play um, in your mind to see how things go. I'm also seeing signs of your home and needing to have a good sort out. It feels as if everything's got a bit chaotic. To finish off the week, I feel that there's we've got two aces, ace of ace of swords and ace of pentacles. And these are basically making me feel as though there are new beginnings, new opportunities. Um, new uh, one is, is brand new ideas coming in about your future. And the ace of pentacles is to do with brand new um, links with work and finances. And I feel that these ideas about new um, financial matters or maybe a new job is coming along because you're not feeling appreciated um, at the job that you're doing or it could be that you don't feel as if um, you know enough is going on um, and you're needing some extra money or some extra support financially and therefore you know um, maybe somebody around you is making you feel rejected because maybe you're not bringing in enough money or maybe you need to step up or something like that. So um, this will all work out because I feel these good ideas are going to come about and this will bring about some better changes for you and for um, people connected to you financially. <clears throat> My throat's going already. So um, I'm just going to um, do myself a drink, a warm drink. So this is going to help my throat. So. Um, what I'll do 
is um, so my last drink went cold. I've been told that this isn't too noisy. It's more noisy for me here. Um, but just in case when it gets to the boiling point, um, I will mute it just in case. So we're going to be doing Virgo. Okay, so this is going to be for Virgos. After I've made a drink. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Right. So <laughs> I've made the drink. It just soothes my throat. Has anybody else had a cold or or cough going on? The change of seasons, isn't it? So as you change, everything starts to change with you. Anyone else been experiencing headaches? Because I haven't had a migraine for a long time. And um, this was a humdinger. Luckily, it didn't make me sick this time, because sometimes they do. Oh yeah, I've been coming a grandma, yeah. She's a month, um, a couple of days ago, she was a month. So happy, she's so wonderful. Poor little love getting a cold at the very beginning of her life though. Um, that's what it, when you've got a toddler, you've got a two year old, she just wants to hug and kiss and nurse her, her sister. She's so proud of her. You can't keep shooing them away and it's inevitable that that cold is gonna be shared around to everybody, like me, and her sister, and her mum, and her dad. So we've all had it, I think. Hmm. But still, absolutely adorable she is. Poor Hallie though, my other granddaughter, she'd been in hospital. Um, she was at Demelza, because um, Demelza is a, um, hospice um, for children's hospice and uh, it's not only for you know when they're passing on although you know it is that as well and um, it is for children who may not have an extended life and therefore um, they've got the chance to have some respite days and um, so they end up having one-to-one -one care and um, some excellent facilities there like swimming pools and um, sensory because obviously Hallie's blind so um, you know she can go into these sensory places and she's she has a wonderful wonderful time well anyway she's there at the moment because there's a, a TV crew um, I don't know if anybody's heard of um, Alan Titchmarsh but Titchmarsh but he and the and the crew are um, doing the garden for Hallie so they're rearranging everything and um, you know totally making it um, a Halley garden um, so it's going to be sensory and everything. So she got sent to Demelza for a little bit, little bit of respite so that she doesn't see, well she won't see, but so it's, she, she's not aware of all the disruption going on um, to do with the garden and then um, she was going to come back. But in the meantime she got herself an infection um, so she has to have a button in her belly um, for the feeding tube now and again, which she needs to have. Um, so I think there's an infection there. So basically she was really poorly. So she had to go from Demelza to hospital. So the poor little love, um, really felt for her. So I'm hoping that she hasn't lost out on those Demelza days because they only get, I think, 15 days a year or something like that. Um, 
so she looked forward to she looked forward to him so much um so anyway she's out of hospital now um and they're still not sure what was uh, wrong exactly but her temperature was high she was very very sick bless her so yeah i think around us there's so many people getting poorly um yeah so i'm um, still sending her lots of love Cheryl, you're up as well. I cannot believe that people in the UK are up here. Um, morning, Ali. Yes, a shift in May. You picked a bit of cold up from grandchildren. I did. I did. And I'd do it again. Um, I would. Because I, I love them and my daughter was feeling really poorly and overwhelmed and she's had a C-section. So... Um, so I went and um, and I was staying there and looked, looked after. It's five o'clock, Gerald. Yeah. So, yeah, the things we do for the grandchildren. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop talking now. So it's Virgo. Okay, so we're going to do Virgos now. So Virgos, this is the 10th of May. To the 16th of May. All right. Okay. Right. So, starting off with a bit of sarcasm around you guys, around Virgos. Now, Virgos. There's something to do with, I've got to deal with this. I can't put up with this any longer. I'm going to have my say. It's something that's going on in your home or around your home. Or if you live alone, then this will be to do with you getting your own time or needing to be at home. Something to do with home they're talking about. They're saying also about somebody who comes and goes um, into your life they're here then they're not here or you're close then you're not close close and you're not close it's one of those boomerang type of relationships either emotionally or physically and there is a need to get to the bottom of something a need to get to the point of the matter and there seems to be this sarcastic level of stop moaning about it and deal with it do something about it rather than rather than keep talking about doing something about it. Okay, so um, that's going to be the start of the week. Okay, so the middle of the week for Virgos. Um, this, there may be a little bit of a, a it's, it's going to be a down. I'm, see, I'm feeling as if you're a little bit down. Um, you know, when there's a heavy feeling around you emotionally, that may last just a day, may last half a day, um, but it may be the biggest thing that's happening in the middle of the week for you, and that's why they're talking about it. But it's like a feeling of heaviness and a need to stand your ground to somebody in authority or somebody who is trying to boss you about. Um, this kind of um, feeling of, you know, um, you know, when someone's trying to manipulate you, um, it's, it's, you know, you can either sit there and take it and that can make you feel oppressed and it can make you feel as if you don't know what you're doing. Um, you know, everything seems to be an effort and, and upset. Or you can just say, no, stop it. Um, I'm not going to be putting up with this anymore, you know. Um, it's about standing up for yourself, not backing down. When you feel as if you've been cornered, you can either cower away or you can say, uh, no, I'm standing up now. I'm not putting up with it. So this is kind of rush of energy where you feel as if it's time to stand up and it's time to stop putting up with what you've been putting up with. And it's linked with somebody in authority or it's linked with rules and regulations that you feel unfair, something like that. OK, so that's. Um, middle of the week for uh, Virgos. Now, by the end of the week, you start feeling so much better. I mean, the cards that I've got, you've got the sun, you've got the 
um, moving forward, the, the feeling of excitement, the feeling of, I now feel prepared to move on. And then you've got the travel card, the, the, that, that is really, there's nothing stopping you now. So obviously this standing up for yourself, that's how it's gonna make you feel. It's gonna make you feel as if I'm back in control of my own life. I don't have to put up with any of that crap anymore. This is my life, not yours. So that is it's going to be quite a feisty time for you. Um, a, a balance is kind of like a, a roller coaster emotionally, but the finale will be, you know, stop it. I'm not putting up with that anymore. So, yeah, it's a bit of a theme running at the moment. So it always is every week. And to me, it seems as if this is a standing up for yourself. Um, it's going to be time. Okay, just going to drink again. Oh, it really does help. Okay, so now, so I'm very husky. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Do a squiggle. Right. Like I said, they're, um, they're going to be quickies because I don't know if my throat will hold out. <laughs> I'm going to hopefully it does, but uh, I want to make sure that everybody gets a little reading. Okay, so Capricorn. So once again, I'm just telling my guides when I shuffle each time, 10th of May to the 16th of May. My dad was a Capricorn. I think my brother's, he's in between a Capricorn and Aquarius, I think, my brother, Jake. Hmm. Okay, so starting off in the week, um, we've got the temperance, we've got the hanged man, and we've got the five of swords. Temperance, balance, trying to be balanced, trying to um, weigh everything up, trying to make sure that everything is fair and organized. There is links with abroad, overseas. There's links with trying to get the fairness um, out of every situation that you find yourself in or people close to you that you find them in. Now the hangman is all about looking at things from a different angle. Um, sometimes we have to put ourselves in other people's situations so that we can then uh, sympathize, empathize, understand, um, and really um, be sure before we make um, permanent decisions um, that affect other people. Sometimes we have to think about how will this affect them? Is this the right thing to do? Um, and so this is why that there's going to be some boundaries that you're going to be putting up. And these boundaries are very, very similar, okay, to what we've had before, the boundaries energy. Um, so it is about, you know, this is okay, this is not okay. Um, I don't mind that, but I do mind this. So it's all about trying to get the fairness and equality out of life and out of the situations that you find yourself in. So the middle of um, the middle of the week of next week. Um, okay, you've also got somebody from your past coming back into your life. Um, this, um, the nine of cups to me is one of those um, boomerang relationships where um, you're really close and then you're not really close then you're not or they go away and then you get back together go away then get back together those sort of boomerang relationships um and there is a need for um alone time okay now i'm i'm gonna i'm picking up two different things um so this is there's obviously um obviously if i was just reading for one person you know, if you came to me for reading, I'd be able to pinpoint what this is. Um, but with this, it's like I'm picking up on both. 
just sort of mean there's two people, there's two, two different sides to, to this. Okay, there's other times also that I pick up on um, like a split timeline, which means it's not set into place yet. Um, that it could go this way or it could go that way. Either way, so for one scenario, I'm picking up that there's links with the home life, okay? Home life, and there's a need to, um, to deal with somebody who keeps coming and going into your life and coming into your home and then leaving again. And there is a need to get this addressed and sort this out. For other people, there is a need for you to have more alone time and for other people to realize that you need your alone time and not to keep crowding. And this could be why you feel as if you're pushing other people away. Okay, so this is what I mean. One of those will fit, one of them won't, or it could be both. Um, but yeah, so sometimes I pick up on, on multiple meanings. Okay, um, so by the end of the week for Capricorns, I can't believe these cards, they're not exactly the same cards I'm picking up here, which is what we had before, um, but I am picking up the same, same advice and the same energy. Okay, so there's a feeling of being um, trapped or manipulated, okay, and there is a need for you to stand your ground and not back down. This card has come up multiple times. Um, the Four of Swords, which is, it's like, I can see them kind of sitting there going, well, it's a nice day and, you know, we're having a nice time and we're ready to fight because we've got our swords there, but we have really not, not really fancy it. Um, perhaps it will just go away if we ignore it, but um, we will defend if we have to. So imagine that you will defend if you have to, but you'd rather not. Um, we've got the secrecy card, the high priestess, which means that things will be revealed in their own time. And it, it feels as if there's not enough evidence yet. There's not enough information yet for you to actually um, start to um, do anything about it. Your hands are tied, okay? Um, now this to me, for some of you, this will be linked with your love life. For some of you, it'll be linked with your family. And for some of you, it'll be linked with work, um, work situation, money situation. Okay, and you're gonna have to work out which one it is for you. Okay, but a feeling of I need to, I will stand up for myself if I have to. The, they, they're, they're saying that you don't know enough information yet, or you haven't had something confirmed. So you can't go on the attack or defend properly until you find out more information. And this is indicating that sometimes you feel stuck or trapped at this moment in time. But this will all start to change and all start to emerge out. Okay, so that is for, so we've done the earth signs now. Okay. So we're gonna do the air signs. So we start with Aquarius. Oh, my cat's getting sick now. Oh dear. Poor Momo. Poor little boy. Eating too many biscuits, I think, and treats, probably. Okay. So just sent him a little bit of healing blessing. Right, so Aquarius. Okay, so let's have a look. Where is 10th of May to the 16th of May? Okay, so I'm seeing this wrapping up in cotton wool kind of feeling. Now, this could be. Um, you're looking after someone or you're looking after yourself because you're you're feeling a bit 
off kilter. And that could be your energy is, is low or it could be emotionally you feel low. Either way, there is a, a need for you to kind of pamper yourself or for other people to pamper you. Um, I feel this isolation energy emotionally um, and they're indicating that this is a temporary thing and this will change and you will be able to move forward. OK, so sometimes we have to just go with it. Sometimes there's nothing else to do apart from just look after yourself. OK, or protect yourself from um, upsetting situations. All right. So we move on into the middle of the week for Aquarius. So this is the particular time that you have been feeling as if I'm blocked. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. I can't change anything. And then all of a sudden there's this rush of energy and you then say, sod it. And he said something else. Then. Sod it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to step off the edge into the unknown. I don't know why, but it feels right. Um, so this is like that, that gut feeling moment where you know you, you know what to do. You know what needs to be done and you're going to go for it. OK, and it's kind of sudden and it will shock other people the way that you then handle this particular situation. OK, and now for some of you, it will be to do with um, emotions. For some of you, it will be, due to, be to do with work or finances, um, but it is sudden. And it has been a feeling of trapped. I don't know a way out. Then all of a sudden, you're taking that leap of faith and that chance. By the end of the week, by the end of the week, there is some very positive news about more money um, or about a, uh, a financial plan, um, a job, or some sort of promotion, extra responsibility within a job. I feel that there's um, a need to not keep thinking and listening to a person who um, it's like they keep saying, you don't have to do anything. Don't worry about it. It'll all sort out itself. Um, don't worry. And this kind of really strong feeling of they don't know what the situation is. They have no idea. So how are they supposed to? Um, how are they supposed to, to, to be able to tell me that everything's going to be okay? So it's like somebody's annoying you, somebody's frustrating you, and it's because they're being so positive and, you know, and a bit, a bit like they're not understanding your point of view, okay? It's like lost in translation, okay? So it is indicating that, you know, you can think of the positive yourself. You don't need somebody else um, to do it all the time and kind of belittle your fears and worries. Okay, so that's for you, Aquarius. Another drink. So it says there's four people watching. Who's watching at the moment? Who's still up? this time of the morning or afternoon or daytime. <laughs> so we're going to be doing Gemini. Oh, hello, Jill. Where are you from, Jill? Oh, Gemini, this is for you. Oh, that's good. This is for, for Geminis or Geminians, as Greg says it. Geminians. Canada. Ah. <laughs> oh, is Lisa? Hello, Lisa.
Uh, good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Please, you could join us here. For Eastern time, it's half past 12, I suppose. That's not too late, is it? Well, it, for some people, it might be. Okay, right, so let's do this. Gemini. What birth sign are you, Lisa? Okay, concentration. 10th of May to the 16th of May, 2021 for Geminis. Okay. A few tears around the beginning of the week. It's tears or heightened emotions. They're also talking about um, a lot of spirit activity, a lot of kind of, um, you know, when you feel as if spirit around you quite strongly, or you feel as though you're not really alone. Do you see what I mean? That there are loved ones and everybody trying to communicate with you. Maybe it's a, one of those anniversary times where those kind of the feelings heighten up um, and you know, you're trying to just get, get through that. See, I always think to myself, um, obviously my my dad is in the spirit world and um he's one of my guides and on his birthday i always think what would my dad want to do what would make my dad happy um you know for, for his birthday and it's always about family gatherings and um and things like that or going for a pint in the pub or you know, having a drink, you know, because he likes the social side of things. So um, they don't really want to see you kind of crying and everything. Obviously, you've got to do your own mourning because that's important. Um, but um, as time goes on, they really, really want to see you enjoying your life to the full and, um, you know, celebrating their life you know, and thinking of them in a fun kind of way. So that is the, that is how spirit really want you to be. Um, but there is some tears around. There is, it is linked with spirit. Okay. And um, there is a celebration. So there, it could be an anniversary or it could be, maybe it's a celebration for you. And um, you're just sad that maybe there's somebody in the spirit world who would have normally been there celebrating with you, but they can't be. So it could be just a, just a trigger moment. Something's, something you see on TV or something triggers that feeling of loss. So at least you're a fellow Pisces. Yep, yeah, that's me as well. Okay, so by the middle of um, next week, Okay, so there's going to be some discussions and talks about travel plans. Um, so this will be whether or not you are going to go abroad, whether you're going to stay in, um, in your own country, what you're going to do, how is it going to benefit you. Um, it's all, and I, I do feel as if it's all to do with well-being. Um, we've got the Seven of Swords, which is my looking after wrapping up in cotton wool. Um, so it could be that you feel pressured into, um, you know, having the, the, the jab um, so that you can travel. And my answer to that is that there will be airlines that are going to be um, accommodating people that aren't having it. OK, um, that will happen. Um, and so you don't have to feel pressured. Okay, so um, just if you can just hang in there, um, 
don't feel pressured to have an experimental um, thing done that hasn't been approved by the FDA. It hasn't been approved. Um, it's been um, an emergency approval, which is not the same thing. Um, and we are the experiment. And a lot of the um, scientists are saying that, you know, you could be passing away within a year. Um, it, it's not good. It really isn't, isn't good at all. So can you just think about it? That's me. I couldn't, I couldn't pick this up and then not say something. Um, and I'll show you why I'm saying this. So obviously this is my travel card, eight of wands travel. This is my looking after yourself, the health card. And this is my sunshine card, which to me is abroad um, overseas. So um, I feel that there is some, um, there's somebody, somebody definitely feeling pressured um, um, for this, pressured for the travel situation, okay? Okay, so um, around the end of this week for Gemini's, they're talking about um, a new job, okay? So there, there's extra money coming somewhere, um, new money, extra money, talk about promotions or wanting a new job or wanting a new opportunity uh, to do with money, work, that sort of thing. Um, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is all about um, keys, properties. Um, it can be to do with moving. Um, they're showing me doors opening. They're showing me opportunities um, coming up. You can see she's got keys in her hand. She's got a house in the background. She's looking very, very pleased with herself financially. Um, so things are looking good in that way. Um, and there's a lot of kind of um, information coming at you. A lot of people trying to nag you or trying to tell you what to do okay and this is to do with you know your well-being it's to do with um jobs opportunities um and i feel that you've got your own feelings as well about that as well um lots of information um heaviness um coming in um but i will say that the um the job situation it's like somebody's trying to pressure you to get a new job or you feel pressured to get a new job, or you feel pressured to earn extra money um, or to start something on the side. It could be that you don't want to, or it could be the other way around where you want to and someone else is trying to say don't. Um, I don't know which one. I just know uh, for some of you, it will be um, being nagged and from other, other people, it will be you trying to say, this is what I want. Okay. Um, so we're now going to go into Libra. Right. Libra. There we go. Right, let's have a little look and see where we're going with Libra. So this is my my love. This is my um, my lovely man, Greg Prescott. So this is um, for you. And it's also for the other Librans out there. I've got Libra rising in my um, chart. If you want to see what yours is, what your sun, moon and rising is, then um, type into a search engine, what is my sun, moon and rising? And it will give you, um, it will give you those. Okay, you can just, you will have to put in the location, the time and the date of your birth. And then it will um, it will come up with it, okay? Sorry, it's on my crystal balls there. That's better. <laughs> it's it's like um, every time I'm trying to um, sort this out, it's getting further and further away. I'm trying to put my foot rest up. Okay. 
Right. Okay. So Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. 10th of May through to the 16th of May. Okay, so there's going to be some discussions and talks um, about travel plans for you, Librans. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands, which is my travel. Okay, um, and we've also got celebration. So this is where some there's some really good news coming your way. Okay, and this is for uh, this is good news for me and Greg, obviously. Um, so we're happy. Um, and uh, an overwhelming feeling of emotional um, over it's an over overwhelming um, emotional feelings. Okay, where emotions are rising to the surface, um, and there's a lot to um, to be uh, thankful for, and a lot of good news. Okay, so um, last week, um, a lot of what I was predicting, unfortunately, did happen. Um, because um, obviously Greg wanted everything to be moving forward um, to do with his operation and everything. And uh, I was picking up some other heavy stuff um, emotionally going on. Hi, Karen. Good morning. What are you doing up at 10 to 6 or quarter to 6 um, a.m.? That's bizarre. <laughs> um, I didn't think anybody in the UK would be up, to be fair. Um, yeah, so it feels as if there is some, so that was last week and that did happen, unfortunately, um, even though I wanted to say everything's going to be fine. Um, but this week, I could say that things are getting much, much better and there is some very good news coming um, and everything seems to be moving forward. Okay, insomnia, I know that one. I haven't done Scorpio yet, so. Okay. In fact, as there's a Scorpio and there's Pisces, I'll do I'll do the water signs next. OK, so no worries. OK, so another celebration. Um, this to me is, you know, where everybody's going into that. Um, I'm happy. I'm excited. Um, I feel, you know, um, that I want to raise a glass and congratulations, well done, fantastic news is being heard. Um, there's a feeling of spirit looking after and making sure that everything is okay and everything's moving in the right direction. Um, there is some strong emotions going on as well. Um, these emotions could be linked with another person um, around you who may need a bit of TLC. <coughs> Sorry. Um, it could be that um, this could be somebody close to you, or it could be yourself. It could be that there is some, you know, um, emotions rising to the surface. Um, to do with your spiritual side, um, look at things in a spiritual way and try and understand that sometimes spirit are looking after us and taking care of us, even though sometimes we feel as if they are delaying things or they're putting barriers up for no apparent reason, okay? Sometimes it's not always like that. There's other things going on. Okay, so by the end of the week for Librans, um, we've got the Empress. So for some of you, it could be um, pregnancy, fertility, um, women's issues. It can be linked with um, a mother um, either you being a mum or your mum, there seems to be some very strong words um, having to get your point across. There's also a feeling of um, a bit of kind of sharp work, somebody being a bit, bit sharp or a bit too much. Um, you know, when you have to kind of like um, ask them to be gentle or ask them to not be so blunt. Um, you know, this person's got a double edge to them. 
Um, it could be that they've got a lot to say about certain things. Um, I know we've all got uh, strong opinions in certain areas um, and sometimes that doesn't fit other people's um, um, agendas and uh, emotions. Um, so there's obviously something going on uh, regarding that. Okay, um, so this person, I feel it's it's where something needs to be said. It's linked to mother, um, either your mum, you being a mum to do with children, to do with growing up, to do with pregnancy. So it's around that area. Um, and for some of you, it will be, um, you, you know, one of those people. Okay, one of those things. Okay, but it's linked with ideas, new ideas going off, and it's linked with getting the opinion out there. Okay, so that's all the air signs. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me a moment because um, I need to just take two, two minutes. Okay, I'll be back in about 30, 30 seconds or a minute. All right, just bear with me. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. <laughs> it's horrible with a cold. You really feel kind of like it's like you're drowning. <laughs> Get it? And I'm just, I'm determined to get through these astrology readings <laughs> without feeling too overwhelmed with it. Bloody thing! I hate it. But I couldn't do that on camera. Sorry, too vain. So we're going to do the water signs now. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with Scorpio. Um, that's for you, isn't it? Karen, Scorpio. Make sure my makeup's on. <laughs> Yeah, I've been fighting this bloody cold. Mm. I sound all husky. <laughs> okay. Right, so um, this is for Scorpios, and this is from the 10th of May to the 16th of May 2021. Okay, starting off the beginning of the week for Scorpios. Okay, so there's going to be some really big um, kind of um, organisation thoughts, um, trying to place things in a certain order in your mind, getting ready for, and this feels as if it's to do with um, working for yourself, or earning some, some money that's outside of what you normally do. So if you've normally got a, a nine to five job, this would be extra, this would be as well as. Um, if you are in a job, it could be that you're thinking of transferring uh, over and being self-employed. Um, it could be that you're gonna be taking on more responsibility to do with your job um, and you'll be working more independently. Because this feels as if it's an independent kind of um, feeling, independent 
um, opportunities to do with, with work and earnings. Um, they're saying also that you've got to keep things to yourself. Um, there seems to be, a, you know, it's not time to announce things. It's time to keep it hidden, okay, or keep it within, okay, just for a little bit longer um, before you mention to other people. Um, you know, and it, it doesn't need to, your excitement and enthusiasm doesn't need to be dampened down by someone else's opinion, um, because sometimes other people's opinions can be um, on the negative side because they care or they worry or they they think the worst scenario um, than the better. OK, um, and uh, and that's not going to help you at this time. So until your your idea, your inspiration has taken a bit more of a root, um, then it's best to keep this uh, opinion to you. I feel that there is one last obstacle that you need to get sorted out before you can actually um, say that you've started this or that this opportunity is ready to, to go and to, um, and to flourish. So by the middle of um, the week, um, next week, I'm seeing legal or official documents, something to do with signatures, contracts. I feel as though there's somebody around you at this time who may not be the best person. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to do any um, legal or official documents if you possibly can. Um, it's not showing up good signs, okay, at this particular point. If you can't and you, have to, you can't get out of it, then they're indicating to me that you need to make sure that you read the small print, literally all of it. Um, because there is some somebody who um, promises things and doesn't fulfil those promises, and there seems to be mischievous or negative energy around contracts, signatures, paperwork, official stuff. Okay, so it's just a little bit of a heads up. It's not the best time to do anything like that. So if you can delay it a week, um, if you can, that would be the best idea. OK, so by the end of the week. End of the week, we've got a more um, victorious energy here, triumphant energy, uh, which is much, much better. Um, we've got links around a spiritual teacher. Um, so somebody who is good at, um, at teaching other people or being or inspiring other people um, to develop their goals and their gifts particular person is going to be around you and able to um, help you get more organized um, in your own um, your own future and what it is that you want to do and um, I feel as if there's a younger person around somebody who's been a bit tearful or emotional and this particular person just needs to be wrapped up in cotton wool a little bit um, and um, they need to be um, surrounded by love and surrounded by understanding um, okay particularly this week um, there's also um, links around tarot cards so um, I, I don't know why but I'm really being drawn to them um, in this particular you, I mean, you know this card comes up all the time the higher, I don't usually, um, see it so clearly um, but I'm really being drawn to the tarot cards in this this person's hands. Um, so if you are thinking of purchasing tarot cards or oracle cards or something, um, then this would be, this is why I'm saying it, I just need to double check this because otherwise people think I'm touted for business and I promise you, I'm think, you know, this is my victory card, my achievement card, I've done it, brilliant news, okay, and this is my looking into things, looking through the third eye, um, links around tarot cards, OK, so you can see why um, these two cards together indicate that it's a good time for you um, to start delving into your own psychic ability. OK. All right. So that was Scorpios. Um, so now Pisces. So um, Scorpio as well is my daughter 
um, Rhiannon. So she's the one that's just had the baby. Pisces. So I'm Pisces and I think Lisa um, out there, Lisa Samuels is also, is it Samuels? I think it's Samuels. Yeah, Samuels, she's um, Pisces. Okay, so this is for us Pisceans. Right. Uh, Sarah. Okay, there's Lisa. Right, okay. So Pisces. Beginning of the week, there's a feeling of being independent, feeling as if you want to be more independent. Um, maybe you're being stubborn about being independent. Um, I can see a juggling of money, um, getting money organized and sorted out. There's also, we've got the chariot energy um, and the chariot is about looking at things in black and white and weighing things up. And this is to do with travel plans or moving. Okay, finding out about moving, um, about moving forward, about where you go, what you do, what is the plan, okay? Um, there seems to be the juggling of money, um, making sure that everything is organized regarding money matters. Um, so it, it's a time of, you know, everything being very quick, okay? Everything happening quite quickly. Um, and it is to do with money, um, travel, independence, um, it's to do with planning ahead. It's to do with organisation. OK, so I think I know what that is for me. What does it mean for you guys? OK. So by the middle of this next week, the middle of the, the following week is um, a lot of hard work. It feels as if you won't stop. OK, everything is going to be um, you know, it's like you've got this to do and this to do and this to do and this to do. And then whilst you've got this commitment, you've got to do this as well. So it's like there's so much going on and it all is a bit chaotic altogether. Um, so there's a, also a feeling of, of I can't get out of this. I can't change this. I can't get out of this. Um, what should I do? OK, in order to to move forward. OK, with this. Um, and. Uh, there will be somebody around me who, to me, you guys, um, and me, um, Pisces, who is feeling as though it's all about me. I've got to get this, um, you know, it's never about me. What, what, what do I do? So they're feeling as if they're being left out. It could be that you're not showing them enough attention. It could be that you're not around for them, um, and maybe you promised to be. Okay. And this is linked with a Scorpio character. And my daughter's a Scorpio, Rhiannon. She's at a cesarean section, but I haven't been able to be anywhere around her um, this week. So I'm feeling guilty about that. So for me, I think I know what that is for me. Um, for you guys, what does it mean, Pisces? Um, you know, you'll have to wait and see next week. Uh, this person has a bit of a sting in their tail and they can um, sting you, okay, if you... If they feel as if you are not um, being there for them or that you, you promise to do something and you haven't done it, uh, whichever that is, okay. And that is because, you know, maybe you're too busy with work. Maybe, you know, you haven't got enough time um, to, to do your own things as well as helping out with, with others as well. And that could be making you feel guilty, making you feel... Um, you know, stressed about it. So around the end of um, this next week, um, spirit guides are actually um, intervening and actually helping. And this could be because you've been sending um, some signals out um, to the universe and saying, please, universe, help me. Um, if you can't, um, if you can't help me, um, be in two places at once, then maybe you could help me help this or help that person 
or you know maybe there's another way around this this problem okay and then i feel by the end of the week then the prayers are answered and there is somebody who can be quite um organized or overpowering um going to be stepping in and helping out and doing what is needed to be done okay at the right time um, so this will all work out very well and the bright future is there um, the card that says we're looking ahead there's lots more to look forward to um, there's a lot of excitement around um, please don't worry it will all be fine um, and that is the spirit guides card that says you've got all the tools to make it work you know if you can't physically do this then there'll be other people that can. Okay, so that's Pisces. Um, good morning, Tricia. How are you doing? You still up this, this early? What time is it with you? If you're Pacific time though, that would be 10, wouldn't it? So it wouldn't be so bad if you're um, uh, Pacific time in the USA. Okay, I'm nursing a cold at the moment. So we're on Scorpio and Pisces. I think it's time for another drink for my throat. So I'm going to be doing Cancerian. Okay, just woken up. Have you? Oh. So once again, if this is just too noisy, I will put it on. Um, so you're 6 a.m. Oh, you're in the UK as well. I keep thinking, why do I think that you're um, USA? I don't know why I do that, but um, I always think that. 6 a.m. Wow. I haven't been to bed yet, so... <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to put it on you. That's better. <laughs> okay. This is keeping me going. The hot drinks. My necklace on today. Trying to fix my sleep. Kittens woke me up for breakfast. Oh, love them. Oh, I used to love it when my cat had kittens. Oh, my goodness. I really loved it. Loved being there for the birth. Loved every stage of it. But by the time they were ready to go to new homes, and they'd wrecked your furniture to such a degree, and you are ready for them to go to new homes. She used to keep one though. She's the kitten. Difficult not to when they're just so, so cute. <laughs> um, and, you know, I've had cats and, you know, they're with me for life. Um, I mean, my last lot of cats, I moved in with my mum um, because I was homeless. And um, my cats loved it at her place so much because it's kind of like it does feel as if it's in um, kind of like a woodland area it, it, it's all a bit there's lots of trees and kind of it, it's lovely it's really nice where she lives um and um yeah she loved it she loved them so much and they loved it there so much that I couldn't separate the two so it had to be that um the kit the, the cats left um were left there um, so I still get to see them. Um, and then when I moved into here, there were two kittens um, that were perfect. Um, and they were ready exactly the right time um, with one of my friends. So I had kit cats, um, some kittens from there. So, but I love having cats. <laughs> so do I. 
I do feel a lot better than I did. A lot, lot better. You know, there's absolutely no way I'd have put makeup on yesterday. It felt very poorly. Eight months old now. Piglet and Mo. Oh. I had Gizzy and Mo. Gizmo. Um, but um, Gizzy died. Um, had a car accident. And um, it's really upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, he still goes looking for her, looking for him, his brother. He still goes crying into the, you're hearing, like later on, it's usually about this time, that he starts hunting round for his brother. He hasn't stopped. And it's been, I don't know, six months since that happened. It's very sad. It looks like my mo. Ah, ah, bless. Well, my friend has just given me um, a few photos of um, my mo's mum, who looks absolutely spitting image of of mo. He looks exactly the same. In fact, you think it's the same cat. In fact, I put it on um, my mum and my daughter's group chat on WhatsApp. And they said, why are you happy that Mo's on the stairs? Because usually he shoots up the stairs in the flats and I can't go after him because I can't get up the stairs, not without a lot of pain. So I'm like, usually, and there's a group of flats, it's usually early hours of the morning. And I'm going, get down here, get down. And he's up there just purring and loving the banister up there and just looking at me going ha ha you can't come get me shit. so <laughs> he does it deliberately so my mum was going why are you happy that mo's up the stairs i thought that would make you i said it's not mo it's his mum <laughs> cats are very um you never completely own a cat do you they literally it's like they they own you you know, they're totally different to dogs. Dogs are very loyal um, and they love you unconditionally. Mm. They do, they do own us. Yes, absolutely. Bless them. Would never be without cats though. I love having cats. Dogs need a lot of care. It's like having another baby. This is my mother that my love made for me. Blessing. Right. <laughs> I've got, um, this is really helpful. When I take my pills, I've got a little clock in my tin and I move it round to when it is. So I know that I can't take my next pills for another four hours after that. Because sometimes you forget when you're taking pills. I've got these little dials made up. So if anybody wants one, let me know. Sorry, just have a little break. <laughs> I've blown all my lipstick off now. I'm gonna have to blow my nose. Right, <clears throat> I'm ready. So we're gonna do Cancerians now. Cancerians, Cancerians, 10th to the 16th of May. So this is my other daughter. This is my Megan, who's um, Hallie, my granddaughter. Um, she had to go to hospital, so um, that's my Megan. 
Okay, so it's for cadsarians out there. Okay, so what I'm picking up for um, cancerians is um, discussions and talks about um, a possible move, okay? Now this move can be to do with job, it can be to do with moving on an opportunity, moving on, um, it feels as if it's like, um, it can be house, it can be that there's a long playing, um, it's like a plan, do you see what I mean? Or an opportunity. It's like we might not do it yet, but we will. Um, we'll wait for a year and then this will happen. So it's like I'm hearing a discussion or talk about that. Do you see what I mean? So it's all about kind of like future plans, you know, having a long term plan or getting organized for something that you feel is going to be um, the benefit for you and for other people. Now, it may not be you actually saying this. OK, you might be witness to somebody else telling you um, that they're thinking of moving. It would have to be somebody close to you, not just somebody standing in a supermarket having a chat about something and you're overhearing it. Yeah, it would have to be close to you. OK, um, but I do hear this uh, conversation. Um, it's really weird hearing conversations that haven't even happened yet. Um, but I suppose that's one of my gifts. Um, I also sometimes pick up um, how the other person's going to react to a certain conversation sometimes um, and how the other person needs to handle it. So it's very bizarre, but that has been a gift that they, they've given me. And there's no way I'm going to um, rumble about that. But sometimes it sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Um, I'm hearing this and it hasn't happened yet. Anyway, um, there's a little bit of boredom and restlessness, okay, going on, and it feels as if there is somebody who is putting a front on, and it's like they want something, um, they want something else, um, or they want this to happen quicker, or they're not impressed with the plan, or something along those lines, and they're having to tough it out, they're having to put this face on, they're having to kind of say it's fine, it's okay, um, but inside they're not feeling that, inside they're feeling anything but that, okay. Um, now sometimes it can be the opposite way around I suppose, um, you know, it's like I never know which person plays which role, okay, that's the only thing. So I hear the, um, the conversation but I don't know whether you're the one saying one thing or the other, okay, so you have to um, let this play out, okay. Um, but um, it is about rerouting or moving, um, linking to your home situation or to do with a work business situation. Um, around the middle of next week uh, for Cancerians. Um, okay, so I feel that you're going to be having some very strong words. Um, it can be because it's someone else having words as well so it could be that they are they said something so now you feel as if you're going to retaliate um i feel that it, there is the ultimate feeling of but this is my wishes this is my dreams this is what i want okay it's like my dreams and my wishes are important too this is my idea this is nothing to do with you um you can have an opinion about it but don't try and tell me what to do so I'm hearing this as well, kind of conversations uh, going on. Um, this person who's around, who's got a bit of a spiteful tongue, and I feel that sometimes they can say things um, and then have to apologise afterwards. Um, I don't know if they actually mean what they say or whether or not they are, um, how can I put it, or, or whether they're just trying to get a reaction. I'm not sure. Um, but um, yeah, I, I feel that it's time to stand by your own dreams, your own wishes. Um, this is what you, he's done it again. He's come in, he's absolutely soaked again. He does this, so I give him a rub down. Honestly, I'm so sorry. I've just, oh my goodness. Momo. 
Oh, Mo. Turning on, on my tarot cards and he's all wet. I'm very sorry. Goodness sake. Have your treats first. Get over here. Have those first. If you see the state of him, look, you can tell by his tail how wet he is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So professional. <laughs> so anyway, I'll towel him off in a minute. But he does it deliberately. It's like he'll, he'll then come back so that I towel him off because he likes it. I have to wait a minute. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, no. Won't be, won't be long. Sorry. Very sorry, everybody. Absolutely soaked. I put socks on my. <laughs> I'll get him dried off he'll be back he'll go outside again and he'll come back in so he can wet again this is the thing cats aren't supposed to like water oh. anyway <laughs> where was I I'm done now I'm done now Shoe now. Come, on, come sit over here. Come, on. come sit over here and have these. So, um, so yeah. So I feel as though there's somebody putting a face on and saying it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, when they're not impressed by what changes are happening. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Sorry about that face, but um, this is the same as what I had for, um, I can't remember when, I can't remember what sign it was, I can't remember, but there was one of the signs that I said, don't, I think it's Scorpio, don't sign paperwork, uh, contracts or anything like that, um, especially around the end of um, next week, um, because it feels as if there's mischievous behaviour uh, something to do with um, that they are um, they're not telling you the whole truth or you're not finding out um, what what the true situation is and there's a need to get to the get to the bottom of it okay uh, before you actually do anything about this um, signing this contract or going in for this um, contract so yeah, there's something going on. So by the end of the week, make sure if you can just hold out or you can get some more advice um, um, around this uh, Cancerians, okay? Um, but I think I said the same thing to Scorpios. I don't know if it was the middle of the week though uh, for Scorpios, but for you, uh, Cancerians, it is the end of the week, okay? So um, if anybody is worried about this, if they have got any contracts that they've got to sign, um, you know, maybe I can look into it for you in more detail. Um, just contact me on um, my uh, Facebook page, Alison Jane's Psychic Alley page, or you can look um, Psychic Alley um, one to one, okay, or Psychic Alley one to one at gmail.com, and I'll, um, I'll look into it for you. Mm. Okay, so um, that's all the water signs. Um, so now we've got the fire signs. Okay, so for the fire signs, we start off with Leo. I'm pleased that I've got through these. So I didn't know if I was going to be able to or not. Okay. 
You're getting all dry again, are you? Cats are wonderful, aren't they? Okay, so let's have a look. It's the only pets that you can have that are completely free to come and go, unless you've got a house cat, of course. Um, but literally, they stay with you or they don't. It is entirely up to them. Um, they come and go. There's no other pet that's like that, that's absolutely free. And I love that about cats, is that they're not caged. They're not, uh, you know, you're not restricting them, um, their freedom. So I know you could say that about dogs, but a dog will go off, um, you know, on a walkabout, wouldn't they? They might come back, but um, they would. Right, okay, so we can do Leo's now. And um, so this is the 10th to the 16th of May, 2021. But that card just doesn't want to go in. It's that celebration, achievement, um, I've done it. Okay, so. No, no matter how much I was trying to put that card back in, it was not having it. Right. Okay, so starting off the beginning of the week for Leo's, okay. Um, actually, this is um, Greg's daughter, Brittany's um, Leo. Um, she's Leo, and I know our Sharon Poe is the Leo. Um, so starting off this week, uh, there's anger, frustration, somebody not being nice, and there's a bit of an eruption. Sorry. Um, so it's a bit like a situation blowing up, okay, and um, a feeling of somebody who you once, um, you once thought um, a, a lot of, um, their crown will be knocked off, okay, this uh, beginning of this week. So I don't like hitting off that, um, the beginning of the week, but um, I will say that this is a temporary situation um, and um, you've just got to just hang in there, okay. Um, but, so by the middle of the week, okay, the middle of the week, this is you breaking free, um, getting away from, breaking free from, um, um, expanding away from um, a situation that you no longer uh, want in your life or need in your life. And this is linked with something official. So this could be to do with a contract, walking out on a contract, walking out on something like an official something that you, you don't want to um, play about with. OK, it's like I'm done with that. All right. Um, and it feels as if it's like, you know, you are then going to need to juggle your money, juggle your time, juggle your energy. Um, you're going to need to kind of get to, um, the, you know, a situation of calm after this kind of eruption. Um, but somebody has pushed your buttons too much, unfortunately. And when somebody does this, you can be very, very calm, um, but they then get to see your lioness energy or your lion energy, um, they get to see that. Um, and that's because they've been playing games or they've been pushing um, you to... Okay. Um, so um, the end, I don't know if you saw that because I think I froze then. So I need to go over that again, just to make sure. Okay, um, I'd rather do it twice um, than to be able to miss it out. So there's gonna need to be a juggling of money and finances by the middle of the week because of the decisions that you've made at the beginning. So by the middle of the week, um, you will have to balance this out. I'm seeing you breaking free from a contract breaking free from something official, like a job, 
um, or like um, something that you promised to do, um, but it has an official feeling to it. Um, but as you break free from this, um, you will feel much better and much more in control of your life and your future. And you will be able to cope um, even um, after this because you'll be you'll need to maybe juggle things about uh, juggle this and that um, in order for um, you know everything to go back to how um, how you want it to be. So this is a letting go um, feeling of walking away. Um, so there is this kind of dynamic feeling of walking away from anything or anyone that is no good for you. Um, there's a bit of a clear out going on, hence why we had the celebration card, because it feels as if spirit is saying, well done, that's good. OK, so, yes, you might have broken free, but it was breaking free from something that was getting you down, making you feel unhappy, uh, stopping you from living the best life that you could be possibly living. Um, and um, everything will then, um, you know, rearrange into um, a better future, a better understanding. Um, but sometimes we have to cope with that eruption first. So there's a lot of endings and beginnings happening with Leos um, this week. Um, and I feel that, you know, it, it is going to be a difficult week. I can't get over that. Um, but I want to say there's going to be a feeling of triumph, um, of victory, of achievement, a bit like you're going through um, this uh, dramatic shedding energy um, and um, people who um, are trying to play about with your emotions or trying to manipulate in, you in some way are really going to um, find out the hard way um, that you have this other side and that you're not playing. OK, you choose not to play their silly game. OK. So, um, I feel as if I need to pick a few more cards because that was quite a, a heavy one, wasn't it, for Leos? Um, let me just do this quick. Okay, so from this separation that you're going to have, um, from this energy of I've done, I've had enough, from that, there is going to be some brilliant ideas coming off. Okay, um, it's like time away from the hustle bustle of um, and the drama that you've been living in or has been, has felt like a drama. Um, you're then able to push away and you're able to actually go into your own energy and say, right, what is it that I want to do? Where do I want to be in the next year? How can I make this happen? So it actually uh, makes you step up and get on with it. That's what it makes you do. Um, so that's what I see. All right. So it's actually a very good thing. I felt it was a very good thing anyway, but um, just wanted to reassure you uh, with the extra cards. Okay, so we're going to do Sagittarius now. There we go. Right, Sagittarians. Tenth through to the sixteenth of May, twenty twenty one. Now I've got Sagittarian Moon. So this is one of mine as well. Okay, so there's going to be a celebration of love stroke lust. Okay, so this can be, uh, for some of you, it will be love. Um, that could be love of family, friendships, acquaintances, um, spiritual. Um, and for others of you, it will be linked with your love life. Okay. There's a very intense feeling of happiness, okay, around you at this time 
starting at the beginning of this week for Sagittarius. Um, there is a feeling also um, of a need to have a meeting or attend a meeting or meet up with, or it's like an appointment, organizing of an appointment, getting this done, okay? Um, getting this in motion, something like that. And it feels as if it's like, you know, when you've got to put this smile on, you've got to kind of smile sweetly and pretend everything's okay. Um, but I don't feel as if there's much pretending going on because I think you are feeling that way. Um, but you are the type of person that likes to put a smile on no matter what. Um, and I feel that this will, um, it's like I'm feeling a lot of passion. I'm feeling a lot of excitement um, and adrenaline feeling around a meeting that is going to be, um, you know, you're going to be attending um, and you'll know about that around the beginning of um, this next week. By the middle of the week, um, you've got um, a clear decision to make regarding your emotions and you feel torn um, about having to make these decisions. And this feels as if, um, you know, you know when it's like my loyalties are here, but I'm being torn to be loyal to this person as well. What do I do? How do I go about that? Um, it's not as easy as just um, looking at things as in this is black, this is white. There's lots of grey areas um, to this. And so this is the hardest decision that you've had to make in a very long time. Um, and, um, you know, it does have a lot of emotions linked to it. But there's also a lot of happiness um, and excitement. OK, I feel that you have been treading on eggshells around a certain person or a certain situation for far too long now. And this treading on eggshells is going to come to a point of no return um, around the middle of this next week. And then I feel there's going to be, um, um, it feels as if it's um, taking that risk, taking that chance, stepping off the edge with that trust energy and saying, I don't know what's coming, but I'm going to do it anyway. This feels the right thing to do. Um, and therefore you go for it. So uh, whichever this feels, it feels as if it's right. This is right for me. This is right for my situation. But there's a lot of emotions linked with this. Now, for some of you, this will be linking around um, how you feel to do with work, or it could be how you're feeling linked with family or friendship or acquaintance or love, okay? Um, but there's a big decision that you're making um, at this point. Uh, by the end of the week, there will be a lot of kind of um, heightened emotions. And there could even be some tears around you or around this situation. Uh, but then I see lots of plans, planning ahead, um, decision time, um, you know, directing your energy into the ultimate, um, you know, this is where I'm going this is what I'm doing. I'm not going to stop. OK, and then I'm feeling as if there is um, keys. I'm seeing a property. Um, this can be either your property. It can be, um, metaphorically speaking, um, a key to the new to the new future. Um, for others of you, it will be literal keys to property. Um, but it is about affluence and it's about well-being and it's about making sure that you're uh, looked after making sure that everything is okay um, and everything is as it should be um, but again quite a massive um a massive uh, changing for you Sagittarius so Leo and Sagittarius is quite um quite big big events going on so okay so we're going to do Aries. There. Okay. Aries. Right. Okay. 
So I know this is our lovely Vera. She's an Aries. Anyone else out there in Aries? Are they in your sun, moon or rising, Aries? Or family member? So 10th through to 16th of May, 2021. beginning of the week for Aries starts off with a feeling of financially being better off than you thought you were okay it could be that you've got an extra bulk of money around you at this particular time it can be a feeling of um, spiritual security um, and knowing that spirit are working for you and making things happen um, that you're, you're realizing that they are bringing you good luck. They're bringing you opportunities. They are really working in your favor. There's going to be a lot of outspokenness um, and clear, um, um, clear conversations, getting everything off your chest. And it feels as if it's like, um, it's like I'm seeing public speaking um, announcement people listening to you and you being on a stage of some sort like a platform um, and getting everything out there that you need to uh, regarding um, this new uh, maybe project that you've got going on but I'm definitely seeing you standing in front of people and it's definitely linked with spiritual um, sides of, of life. Around the middle of um, the week there are a few obstacles that you need to get sorted out but these aren't holding you back in any way all they're doing is they're showing you okay so in order for me to go forward um, I've got to make sure that I've got this sorted um, and this sorted so I know what I've got um, it is a block at the moment but it could be that you're okay with the block it could be that you understand what the block is and that things are going to, um, you know, the floodgates will open soon and everything will go forward. But until then, you know, everything is working out the way it's supposed to in the right timing. But we do have that victory feeling um, and feeling of I've achieved more than I thought I should, more than I thought I could, should, sorry. Um, and um, I didn't think this would be possible, okay? By the end of um, next week, um, it's time for you to sit back and just nurture yourself and pamper yourself and make sure that you're okay, make sure that everything is, um, is, is comfortable and happy around you. This is really important. Um, I do see that sometimes there's this kind of overwhelming emotional feeling that comes over you uh, when you realize how far you've come and how far, um, you know, your sheer determination has got you this far. And that will show other people as well um, that your sheer determination um, has pushed you really through it. Um, I can see that there is going to be the wheels are in motion to do with your future, to do with what it is that you're going to be doing. Um, and this to me feels as if this is, um, you know, everything is moving forward. And I, I feel that for the majority of people, this will be to do with work, money, achievement, um, opportunities, that sort of thing. Um, I, I feel as if there's self-employment around um, and there's an excitement building to do with this self-employment. There's lots and lots of ideas going off about what it is that you're, you're going to do or what you could do. Um, and uh, then it's like, right, I've got to put this, everything is in motion now, everything is getting sorted out, okay? Um, there's no time to lose, um, let's just get on with this. Um, you've got to do some sort of sidestep um, around uh, a situation, so it's like, carry on going forward, but you've got to be like the crab is, which is you've got to go around it this way, this means you can't go straight on, you've got to go this way around. Um, so 
you know, you've got to be careful, careful, you've got to be clever, you've got to be, um, you've got to have a strategy. Um, and when you have all of this lined up in a row, everything will just then click, 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 click into place when the time comes and when everything is ready. Everything will, so all the cogs will click, click, click. Um, and then that will be, the gears will then roll forward. And it's like, you'll be then able to, to do what you want, um, to be who you want to be, and um, to achieve what you want, okay? There's so much excitement um, that is um, literally around the corner for you. I just had one of those deja vu moments, really have. So whether I've actually said this before or not, I've no idea. I definitely had it just then when I said click, click, click. And yeah, those same words. These are, <laughs> so it's probably this cold <laughs> that's been affecting me. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm hoping, Patricia said no Aries, my late mother had moon and Venus in Aries are Oh bless. Okay, right. I've um, I've loved hanging out with you guys. Um, I'm going to get some sleep, and um, I'm pleased that I'm feeling a bit better. So I've got readings tomorrow, and um, everything's back to normal. And um, I'm then teaching in the evening. So if there is anybody out there who would like to join in with psychic development, um, if you want to. Um, practice your readings with other people um, then you're welcome to join in um, it is um, every Monday and it is 7 30 p.m uk time which is 2 30 p.m eastern 11 30 p.m sorry 11 30 a.m pacific time so if you wanted to um, if you wanted to join in um, you are welcome to it's only five pounds which works out around $7, okay? I have started my Patreon, I have. Um, I'm offering um, readings and um, mis uh, mystery gifts and um, what else am I offering? Uh, all my the videos to all my classes and um, all my classes and workshops as well, so. Um, yeah, it's uh, patreon.com um, forward slash psychic alley. So anyway, thank you so much. If anybody would like a reading with me, you can go to psychicalley.net um, and you can book that way. Okay, um, thanks very much, everyone. Um, love to everybody and um, take care. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you, Tricia, just in that I'm going to join. Thank you very much. It's from $1.11 a month. Um, so anything would be really gratefully received by me. So thank you. Night night, everybody. Bye.